Good evening, everyone. I am Melanie with Thriving in the Fishbowl, and tonight I want to um, come to you with part three of my series on tackling the debt monster. And so the question I have for you tonight is, when are you content? All right. So um, if we think about it with kids, we say, okay, you know, once they get out of the baby stage and they're not crying so much, or once they are able to not have to be in diapers anymore, or once they get to middle school, or once they get, and you're always saying the next thing, when are you content? Or with your job, you know, when I go to the next rung of the ladder, then I'll be happy. Or um, think about in your, um, with your weight, you know, when I lose that next uh, five pounds, so happy when I lose um, 20 pounds or when I get to my goal I'm gonna be happy or when you get a cell phone I have a Samsung s6 and as soon as I got that thing wouldn't you know an s7 came out and I thought I have been ripped off I just paid for this thing Isn't that how consumerism works all right and then even with cars you know we say I gotta have the next thing so I want to show you an example with pens okay so when am I content so you know I start out with this pack of Energel. They're very good, especially if you're left-handed, all right, because, you know, I love them, okay, until I see somebody added me to this group called Pen Addicts on here. It's the worst thing for my wallet ever, okay? So, you know, I see these Energels, and I'm just happy with these Energels until somebody posts in the group, and they post about these, I don't even know how you say it, St Stedler pens. Vanessa, my pen buddy, she's watching, okay? And I say, oh, I've got to have those. So, you know, i got to go to uh, to Michael's and get the Stedlers with my 40% off coupon, all right? So I get those, and I'm happy because I have the Energel and the Stedlers now. But wait, then I'm on Amazon, and they know I love pens, and this little pop-up comes up in the side, and it says, you need these Papermate liquid flare pens. And I say, oh, my goodness, I have to have those. And then I see one of my friends posting about it, and I said, yes, I have to have them. So I get them. So now I have... I have three sets of pens and I'm still not happy because see, America has been drilled into me. Then I get these. They are amazing. I got them at Meyer. They're called G-Tech C and they remind me of the barrel of pens from when I was in high school. They're nice and thin like the pilots used to be. So I get those and I'm, I'm happy. But then last week my friend Nicole posts on my page and she says, have you tried these pens? And I say, I haven't. And so you know what my fears did? They went and they had to order these from Amazon. And they are amazing and they're the best pen and they're definitely in my top five. But then I see, oh my, Meyer has the big pack of Ink Joys on sale cheaper than they've ever been with a price drop and an imperk. And so I have all these pens. All right. When am I content? Am I ever content? Is, is it ever going to be enough? All right. No, because it's never enough, okay, because I have an addiction, all right, and so I want to introduce to you an idea tonight, um, we're talking about getting out of debt, and I've given you three steps so far, number one, you need to make a budget, number two, you need to get an emergency savings account of a thousand dollars, and number three, you need to use the snowball method, method of putting your bills in order and paying them off smallest to largest. But one way to get, to accomplish both of those second two goals of getting the $1,000 and starting to pay off your debt is something called a spending fast. And I was introduced to this idea from a book um, about three years ago, Dana and I did this, and it was a book called Satisfied. And um, basically it was saying, how do you discover contentment in a world where we want more pens, right? Okay, and so Dana and I, tried what is called a spending fast because all these pens you know what they say to me they say buy me buy me and i'll make you whole melanie just buy me but eventually in four or five days i'm saying i need more pens i need more pens and we do that with things now you all have something that you're addicted to because i know i'm not alone okay all right and so what a spending fast is is it is saying you know what i'm gonna take a break and the period of time that I tell people to do it is for three weeks because you can do anything for 21 days. You don't use your credit cards. You do everything with cash. Um, I have a little few notes here. You only purchase like necessities or essential items like food you're gonna eat. Some people go hardcore and they do it for a week and they just don't buy anything. They use what's in their pantry and everything. But what I suggest is doing it for three weeks and no credit, only purchase essentials. 
what it will do is it will cause you to re-examine your spending habits because you will say, whoa, I have a problem. I am buying way too many pens and this translates to how many dollars? All right, um, you don't eat out and you do at-home entertainment. So, you know, you have to wait to go see Beauty and the Beast. All right, why? Why would you want to do this? Number one, it curbs this consumerism. All right, it curbs my desire for all these pens, all right? Um, it prepares you to prosper because what you're doing and paying off your debt is you're preparing to prosper and you're leaving, I'm paving the way for my four children when I'm doing this, all right? Um, it gets your house in order. And no, I'm not that good. I can't like tell you that I'm gonna have a magic um, cleaning fairy come to your house. I'm talking about your financial house. It will get your, your financial house in order. And then it also breaks the yoke to buy and buy and buy some more. Um, we live in a world where we're entitled. We think, you know, you know, well, I didn't have it when I was a kid, so I'm gonna have it as an adult because I can, all right? And we can because we have credit cards, all right? And above all, it will give you financial peace. And that is the ultimate goal in this Tackling the Debt Monster series because I know a lot of you watching are up at night because you have bills to pay and you don't know what to do. And so that's why I'm starting this, all right? And so, um, Basically, I am challenging you to go on a spending fast. Now, I do have a little note here that says if you can't go on a spending fast, all right, that means no extra spending for 21 days, what about a spending diet? What do we do when we're on a diet? We cut back. What about saying, you know what, I'm going to limit myself to $100 of non-essentials, all right? And honestly, you can totally do that. All right, and so I will tell you, I could tell you so many stories that happened when Dana and I did the spending fast, but one that is like an extreme story is we got a grand piano given to us because a lady was trying to sell it to us and we Dana came home and he was like, it's such a good deal. And he remembered we were on this spending fast. We had agreed not to spend anything extra. Long story short, she calls back and she goes, I want the piano to come to your house. It has a home and I'm paying to have it delivered to your house that Friday. And so we had honored God with what we felt like he wanted us to do to, to not be caught up in having the next best thing and making sure that our finances were in order. And so I could tell you story after story like that. If you really ask God for help, he will honor you. And so I have a verse. Um, all of us have probably heard this verse, even if you are not in the church world, there's a verse that's all over the place that says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And that's a great verse. I love it. However, Everything has to be taken in context. And the context that precedes that verse is here's what it says. Paul is writing to a church in Philippians. He told them, you know, hey, I'm thankful that you care about me. And then he says this, I know how to live on almost nothing or with everything. I have learned the secret of living in every situation, whether it's on a full stomach or empty with plenty or little, for I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. So we get that verse after Paul is saying, you know what, I have learned, you know, I'm thankful that y'all want to help me because he was writing this letter. Philippians is a letter to a church at Philippi is what it is. A lot of the New Testament books are actually letters. And I love, that's why I like pens. I like to write letters. And so Paul was, you know, my kindred spirit. He liked to write letters. And so he wrote a letter to this church and he was saying, you know what, it's cool. Y'all want to help me. I'm, I'm great. But I have learned to be content. And this is the bottom line. We can only be content if we let God fill that void. It's great that I have all these pens. And they do fill a void in my life because I love to write letters. Okay, I write two letters every single morning. But these pens cannot fill the void in my life that is a God-sized void. And so I challenge you to try the spending fast for three weeks. If you don't think you can do three weeks, try one week and see how you realize how much money you drop at gas stations, just on um, convenience foods, fast food restaurants, going out to eat. I don't know about y'all, but it is expensive to eat out when you have six people in your family, especially when it's a teenage boy. All right, so I would love to um, answer your questions. I will be posting more information about this, um, an extended version on my blog tonight, but thank you all for watching. And um, if you want any information on which pins are the best, I'd love to give them to you right now. These are my favorite, and I forgot to bring up my ones from Dollar General that I really love too. So, but anyway, thanks for watching, and y'all have a great night. Bye!